fix what bugs you. Could such a simple concept actually make a huge difference? Well, we're going to talk about just that in today's episode of Business Success with Doug Barra. Welcome to today's episode of Business Success with Doug Barra. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been covering the concept of lean and what lean means and how it, why do lean? And I want to now start to get into how to implement lean. All right. What would it take? What do you need to do? All right. Now, My personal opinion is what you first need to do is go to paulacres.net and start watching some of his videos so that you get some much better information than I'm giving yet because I'm still at the very early stages of this and still learning it. Uh, However, I want to talk to you a little bit about this concept that he talks about called Fix What Bugs You. All right. And I, I remember the first time I heard him say that, I thought to myself, fix what bugs me. Huh? But that is such a key thing. If you remember in my first video about lean, I talked about my headphones, right? And how just having them willy nilly around the desk drove me crazy, all right? So I created a way to keep them easy to access, out of the way. Now I don't have to struggle with having to move them around. They're always right where I need them, when I need them, and they're never in the way. All right. And I've implemented a number of these. I mean, they just seem silly, right? For example, one of the things that I've implemented, and, and this isn't like trying to make things better. It just makes things feel better, right? Is I have a glass desk that I use. And, you know, if you've ever worked on a glass desk, you know that fingerprints, uh, if you eat at your desk like I do a lot, then little things get, uh, you know, smudges and things, and it just looks eh. And because I have a glass desk, it means I don't have a whole lot of, like, little places I can stick stuff and, and that. It's just everything ends up on the desk. All right, so it always looks a little bit, or always looked, a little bit of mess. So now I've implemented that every day I do a little cleaning on my desk, all right? And once a week I do a full cleaning on my desk. So every Monday morning I come in and I move everything and I spray it down with Windex and clean it off. And then every day when I come in, I spend a couple of minutes just putting things back in place where they should be so that the desk looks neat and I know where things are, right? And this way when someone walks into my office it doesn't look like this big pile of a mess and when I look at my desk I'm not annoyed by it it's just a little thing it only takes a few seconds but it makes a big difference for me when I sit at my desk I feel more comfortable because I now have things put together the way I like them to be also another interesting little piece was we have this wonderful studio and I think I'm going to include in the end of this video um, some videos of this wonderful studio that I'm actually standing in right now and uh, you'll find out that it actually isn't blue behind me Uh, (laughs) but it it was an issue because we needed to be able to do videos we wanted to do videos that actually looked good and we had some opportunity to make some things happen that aren't easy to make happen all right and we had this space and it was a bit of a mess because we had just moved in so it was a a mess so we needed to clean it out and set it up and make it work but it's not just me doing videos it's me and jody and we happen to be different heights right so having the cameras set up all the time which made it real easy to be able to just come in and film when we needed to also was a bit of a problem because the perfect location for the camera for me is not the perfect location for the camera for Jody, because if Jody were to use this camera, this camera where it is, she'd probably be more like this, all right? Because she's a couple of inches shorter than I am, all right? So, so what would happen was every time we went to switch between us, we would have to crank up or down the camera and have the person stand here until we got it just right, so that it would be the right height. For that person and the other day I'm like man that's such a pain it wastes so much time and I was like I'll bet if we put a mark 
on the tripod, we could make it easier. So this is what we've done. We actually took, and it's a simple thing, we took a silver marker, which we happen to have lying around, and at the point when it was perfect height for me, we put a little line on the center stem of the, of the tripod, and then when we have Jody standing here, we adjusted it, got it to just the right spot, put another little line, put a little D next to mine, a little J next to hers. And now, if we're getting set up for either one of us, we just crank it right up to that line and we're ready to go. There's no fuss, no muss, so we can get moving much faster and have things happen quicker. Um, there's also a number of little things that I've done here in the in the studio. Um, we're putting together a checklist so that it's very easy to know what has to be done to get a video started. Um, we've got almost all the lights on one switch, so we just turn on one switch and everything comes on. Um, as soon as I figure out how to wire the last one, we'll have all the switches on one light. Uh, probably also be nice if I can get that switch somewhere where it's easy to get to, because right now you have to kind of reach down to reach for it uh, because of some of the ways lights are plugged into it. Uh, but, you know, it's little improvements. It's just little things that make life easier. And, you know, this whole concept of just having a studio where we can just walk in and make videos is huge, right? And I don't want you to think that when we're doing videos, like the video you saw of my two second improvement with my headset, it's just done on my phone. That doesn't, I mean, these don't have to be quality super great videos for those kinds of videos these are marketing videos so we want them to be a little bit better we want them to be higher quality so we wanted to have it be that we could do that and the way we used to do it was we had to set up all the equipment do the video then tear all the equipment down and then the next time we were going to do it set up all the equipment again and that just caused a lot of time it was difficult to do and sometimes we just wouldn't do it because it was too much of a pain to do it now all we have to do is walk in get started maybe three seconds to adjust the camera turn on the the lights turn on the recording and we're good to go so remember if you got value from this video please like it subscribe, share it with friends, and we're gonna end with this little video of the improvements that we made in the studio. See you next week on Business Success with Doug Barra.